Elizabeth here. We're going to go to Chrome and we are going to install a editor plugin for our uh, WordPress.org sites. So to, to do that you need to go to your WordPress site and as you recall um, the address for that would be 2013 slash your initials with WP after it and that will bring you to your WordPress template just basic blog that was created for you and if you want to get to the dashboard there may be another way but the way I use is just um, type WP um, slash dash admin so this will get you to your dashboard from there again you've explored all of the different options um, we're gonna add a um, so if you look at posts and we're gonna um, just the basic post for instance I'm going to edit. You will see um, visual. Uh, there's not much uh, there for the editor. Uh, there, it's pretty simple. Uh, not a lot of options, as you can see. So we want to get a better editor to work with. So we're going to go to plugins, and up here, if you click on Add New. We're going to search for a plugin, and it's a pretty standard plugin for a lot of content management sites. Um, uh, what is it? Tiny. There's different versions of it. So Tiny MCE, and you'll see all the ultimate. Here's one. This is the latest, um, and we're going to try this one. You can explore others, but right now, so if we, what we want to do is click on Install Now, and I'm going to hit OK. And it used to be you had to actually download it and then upload it again to your directory files, but that's that's this year. So it's actually installing it directly to our directory files. Okay, so it says um, successfully installed. Now I want to click on activate. And now if I scroll down here, it is in my list of plugins. And I can click on the settings. But before I do that, I want to actually look at a post and see if it looks any different. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to make a, let's make a new post. So if I click on new post, and we'll wait a little bit for the editor to load. There, we have some new options. And in the new options, let's see, we've got remove formatting. Not a lot of new ones. I think, let's see what else we can add. Let's go back to the plugin plugins and let's go to settings and see what options there are. So I'm going to enable this. I'm going to just enable a bunch of stuff. Cut, copy, I don't know why the, the uh, and you can put it on different rows. It, um, background picker, preview, uh, emicon, table, styles so these are I'm gonna actually I want these on row three so let's put those on row three actually there's a pretty robust editor so but it's complicated to set up um, row three and see if there's a oh, YouTube video that's nice oh here's code um, code magic put all the codes in let's put this on row three as well might even want row four. I don't know. Well, we'll see how they lay out. Advanced link. All right, let's do that. Let's put that on row row three. And here we go. I'm going to save that. Now we have a lot. It looks like we have a lot of options in our post at our editor. So I'm going to click on all posts. And I didn't save that last one, so I'll have to just click on it again. So there's a lot of options here. The time, the date, pace, so, and you can rearrange them, you know, the more um, easier they are for you to use, the easier. So say I click in here and I click on YouTube, it's, it's, um, it will ask me, again, I have to put the link in there and I can um, autoplay, so there's a lot of options. So add the new editor and give it a whirl and add the, all of the features that you need but also be sure to explore um, other plugins. So good luck.